Hey guys, how are you? We're just uh, running a little late today, so just bear with me, guys. Okay. What we're going to go through today is we're going to go through down our uh, filtration. So we're going to show you how to make a shatter, a dabbable product, and um, a product that you can make for your vape pants. Okay, so we're going to do three different grades through filtration and temperature. Okay. We're just going to cool everything down. Again, with this, I'm using liquid nitrogen. You don't have to use liquid nitrogen. You can use dry ice. So, uh, and I'm gonna find what we're gonna call this. Just so we can get some sort of uh, weight bearing here uh, of the plant material. So I'm going to actually put 8 ounces of dry weight material here. It probably doesn't work out to 8 ounces, probably a little more I think. Um, actually, sorry, a little less. So anyway, it's going to be one cup we're going to be putting in here, okay guys? Just so we can keep an average on what we're doing with the alcohol usage and the plant material. Um, the material that I've ground up is it's very fine, fine, and uh, we've used everything from as you can see here guys, I've missed out on nothing, so you're going to see a lot of stem, everything, roots, everything, leaves, fan leaves, you name it. So, here we go. Here we get, we get one cup. Okay, so we go roughly here, you can see the powder there. I'm going to put it into this unit. Okay, we've got one cup. Now, how much we filled up is probably this area here for one cup. So we're going to add another cup. Okay, take out some of the debris. Okay, that's the second cup. Okay, two cups in each. Okay, we're going to be 
pouring a little bit of this into here. I'm bringing down the temperature of the plant material. So when I combine uh, the alcohol with the plant material, then I'm not going to release and undo the chlorophyll. Preferably locking up just about everything in the plant and just releasing the resin. Um, what you can do, you can do this with uh, your fridges. If you haven't got a cryogenic fridge, well you can do this with uh, just your normal box freezer. And um, what you can do is get some dry ice, divide the fridges uh, into segments where you can, what I'm just about to show you, you can do these in each segments without disturbing the other environment. So it doesn't cost you much if you want to do a box freezer with dry ice, preferably cryogenic freezers, minus 85. to bring it down to temp and then we'll then we'll, what we're going to do is, is those two units we're going to make sure we break it up because the liquid nitrogen is in there and uh, if there is any moisture in the plant material it's going to stiffen it up so you've got to break it up so you can freely have the alcohol interact with the plant material okay that's why the smallest of the particle you get the plant material the more interaction you'll have with the alcohol okay and that's what you want especially at cold temperatures because it takes such a long time for the alcohol at, at those cold temperatures to interact with the plant material. So it's important. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you, we're just using your normal coffee filters. we're going to do is uh, from those two containers we're going to be pouring through one of these that is going to be your first run first pour uh, and when I have my alcohol with that plant material I stir it in fairly quickly a little bit of agitation and within that 60 seconds I will pour it straight through the filtration unit um, and there we have it so another thing too I'll, I'll explain too about is about filtration so when you're starting with your filtration you don't want to go straight into into your coffee uh, uh, your coffee filters basically what you're doing is you're locking up the filters and you're taking some so much more time to filtrate that uh, how do I say uh, filtrating out those lipids fats and waxes and what may be that uh, the, the particles that you want out so you want to do it through something like like this here um, it's, uh, they use this for cleaning oil, um, and yeah, the alcohol runs very freely through this, but it picks up most of the bigger part, uh, plant matter. Then once you've got rid of that plant matter out of there, and locking out some of the other particulars, because it's so cold, then you can run it through your coffee filter, and it's going to save you so much time. You'll, the alcohol running through this coffee filter will be five times as quick, because you've taken most of the heavy debris through, through this filtration here. So, and the reason you do that too is because the quicker you run your alcohol through it in temperatures, 
uh, the less bleed through you can get. Less bleed through, doesn't change colour, you get that in and out and you can start your, your distillation or, or turning it into shadow to evaporation. So there we have it guys. Okay. We'll check on the temperature. in making sure that your alcohol is down to temp, to whatever temp that is, and uh, make sure your plant material is at the same same temp as the alcohol. And the apparatus that you use to, to mix everything in, uh, like your spoon and what it may be. Um, another thing, um, the least amount of air coming in contact with the raw plant material while you're doing this process, the better. So we'll get some more liquid nitrogen. See here that the alcohol is freezing up. So there we have it. We're taking the temperature down on the alcohol. There we have it. Now coming down to 10. What we're going to do now is these two units. Then I'll be pouring alcohol into one. Now, I suppose you want to probably know how much alcohol we're going to pour in. So we're going to show you. Okay. I'm going to be pouring, we've got one liter of alcohol. And I'm pouring it in here, half at a time. There's half in one side, half in the other. And then the stir. Okay, I'm going to cool down this unit again. Make sure we have everything cold. Uh, you know, you can leave for as long as you want. The first pour, 
You can leave it in there for one minute, you can leave it in there for 15 minutes, half an hour. If your temperatures are right, you can leave it there for, for at least up to half an hour without that chlorophyll on building and getting in there. Um, experiment. Try it out for one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and find out where you think your, your, your best time is for your, for your plant material and the style of uh, extraction you're doing. Okay, so now we're going to get uh, the filters ready. Don't forget, uh, I'm doing this in, in an open environment. Normally if you have a cryogenic fridge, you wouldn't be doing this. Uh, everything will be all enclosed and you've got no one doing so. I'm going to do this fairly quick, so if you don't get to see it, um, just rewind it. No, but it's pretty much self-explanatory, so easy stuff. Uh, we're using here a uh, shortening filter, so, so we had the alcohol run through pretty quickly. Uh, again, with, uh, uh, with the French coffee press, basically when we push down the plunger, it's taken out most of the debris too, letting it sit. And uh, the longer you do sit through duration, all the fines will sit as well, and then you can pour off that alcohol fairly clean. But we're not going to wait, we're pouring it down. So pushing the plunger down. Here we go. Pouring this out. Okay, it's a nice gold, thick color coming out. That's all I'm doing. Run, third run, and, uh, and we'll have a look at where we come up with 
um, with the product. And then again, letting you know too, that in those three different runs, there's going to be different percentages of, of the THC in each of all, and, and different terpene profiles as well. Um, more terpenes of a, of a different profile will come through more in the first. Um, and then some of the terpene profiles can come in more in the third, really depending on the, on the style of terps that are, that are in the plant material. But anyway, that's for your experiment. And uh, for you to work out, write down your history board about all these experiments so we can all share the information and, uh, and uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, undo this plan. Okay, give it another minute or so. I'm uh, getting back to the fridge. So yeah, when you do get your fridges, you can buy a second hand box fridge if you want to. That's the hard way about it. Um, just keeps coming off. So yeah, if you've got an eight foot fridge, you can divide it into four units with uh, foam. Again, you're not gonna get solid temps because you're gonna be using dry ice in this old fridge, which is probably a minus 10. Um, but hey, it's better than nothing. If you wanna go the cryogenic, okay, cryogenics can start around about, you know, four and a half to 5,000 for a 17 cubic, in, uh, cubic foot and up to a 25 cubic foot. Um, and you can get them all the way up to, to, to the minus 80s, which is perfect. Um, you know, chest freezers uh, and stand-ups. And it just, you know, when you're using a system like this with the coffee pots, you can, you can, my God, you can put 50 liters. You can have 50 of those canisters in your fridge and you can do, you can fill up as quick as these, you can fill them and, 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 and empty them as quick as you run. So, and with fridges like that, you've got a solid temp, and with those double wall stainless steel um, French coffee press, you're, you're not going to expose it to the air. So, you've got no oxidization, you're not going to have the, un the, the chlorophyll undo as easy. So, you know, I've stretched out some of those runs where I've gone through maybe seven runs and about 12 to 15 pulls through those runs. So, I've depleted everything out of it without the chlorophyll even being exposed. Can be done. Okay, and that's when you do get everything back. So if there's 18%, like if you measure the, 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 the plant material, the flower, 18% THC, well, you'll get all that. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, check this out. So the second run, we're going to do the same again. And then what I'm going to do with the first run, I'm going to be doing that through a coffee filter. So here we go, this is going to be... This is going to be the second run. I'm just going to cool it down just a tad. It does help. So there we have it. So this is going to be the second run, first pull. Pouring it through. Looks like a little bit more plant material but exposed. Coming through, it's very thick. This one's nice and dark. Okay, then putting this one away. goes with lavender, this goes with mint, 
Um, you, flip, you can do this with any of them. Like I said, this is an absolute extraction, meaning you use alcohol to remove the resins of love or the oil. Being used for a long time, guys. You'll see a bit of a dragon tail in there, and that's because you've got some fines coming through. Very fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to freeze this again. Like so. We're going to keep it nice and cold. I'm going to put it back in here. Because it's not moving as, as quickly as I want, I'm going to cool down another one. 
This is of the second run, first call. On its first filtration,
uh, takes you 24 hours for a complete turnaround, you know, to a, to a novice. Um, and really the 20 liters is basically, you can't put 20 liters, you can put 18 liters. Well, 18 liters is around about five pounds, or somewhere near enough. So just imagine a high, uh, uh, if you look at uh, a 25 cubic foot fridge, well, through a right technique, you could go through about, um, you could easily go through 15, 20 pounds. But anyway, and that's just working on certain techniques. Um, yeah, so much better than the CO2, uh, much more profitable. Uh, and again, your outlays are not so extravagant. Any returns are better too, to well. So anyway, here we go, that's enough bullshit. Some thicker, thicker parts of the plane are coming through this one. So most important when you see some of the heavier parts coming through on the plant, make sure your temperature is, is absolutely cold. You know, I keep on it now. through the shortening filter and I put that through a 
profit model. So you can see there's a sort of a system there. If you work out this system, every time that you're doing one part, you can do another part. So you're not opening up the fridge and just working on one area. You can actually, when you open up that fridge or however you set yourself up, that you can do multiple runs. So that's why it's good to keep a, a, a notepad or a, or a board um, where you've got your, your history notes on there for that, for that entire run. And then you just write everything down, time, temperature, uh, how it's reacting, color. Um, and like last week I showed you how to do a milligram count on how much it's saturated in cannabinoids per, per, per volume of alcohol. I think we did 10 mil of alcohol. And I think we ended up with 200 milligrams of cannabis when we rendered it down. So just, you can work out that equation of how much is in every gallon. And then you can work out if you did 50 gallon run, well, then you'll know to every quarter of a gallon you had 200 milligrams, or however it works out. And then you can multiply and find out what's the value in your one gallon, five gallon, 50 gallon, 100 gallon. Anyway. Um, what else here? Yeah, so we went, so we've gone through one, two, three runs, all single pools on all of them. And uh, on the third one, we're just going to run it through a short and filter and that's it. Let's check it again. Okay, they will be taking their time to go through that through that shortening filter. That's the last one. Have a lot of debris in it, so we're going to move it a little quicker. Okay. And I'm going to be putting it in the bigger one. And I'm going to put the two through there. So I'll pull this down.
what I'll do for the last time, for this session that is, I'm just going to stir it all in. So, my temperature is still really cold, the temperature is very thick. It's, uh, yeah, moving it's quite hot, so you know your temperature is good.
Anyway, so that's it. I really hope I helped out. Just before I do, I'm going to quickly show you the colours again. So we've got the third. Just stopped.